Welcome back to Harbour Unbox for what is going to be a very exciting video. Very exciting indeed. The doorbell just rang five minutes ago and I got two pretty cool packages. Uh, and based on what's on the label, fairly certain they are my AMD Threadripper samples. So we'll get into those in a moment. Uh, yeah, very exciting. This video will go out tonight. So we'll, you'll see quite a few unboxing videos from various channels because uh, we are allowed to show the unboxing procedure at a certain time tonight. And then a week from now, we can finally show you our proper reviews and benchmarks and that sort of stuff. And as you can see, I've got the Ryzen jacket on from the previous unboxing when I got this with my Ryzen 3 samples. Not many excuses I can really use this for on the channel, but I thought AMD Ryzen Threadripper unboxing, gotta get the jacket out. I think you guys will agree. Anyway, wait there. I'm gonna get these boxes. Um, yeah, I don't, I won't say anything. I don't need to say anything. Let's just get the boxes. Ugh. Oh, this one's a heavy one. Oh. 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 Still haven't got the collar on this train yet. Like most good AMD products, it'll probably take a few firmware updates before it's, uh, before it's ready for retail. Anyway, two massive boxes here. Uh, I know Threadripper's a big CPU, but okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's in these. Possibly two full computers. I, I don't know. These are massive boxes. I've never ever received anything like this for a CPU review. Uh, I'll just cut into both of them. I think actually the way we'll do this is because they are just so massive and it probably looks weird on camera. I'll get rid of the lighter of the two. And let's see what's in this one. Okay, what do we have here? What is that? The components you need to create the ultimate desktop system platform. Well, I'm not sure what that's all about, but it's it's pretty cool. We'll put that there. All right. Ah, X399 motherboard. That is the heaviest motherboard box I've ever picked up. ROG Zenith Extreme. That is a seriously heavy motherboard box. I have no idea what's in that. Possibly a lead brick or a motherboard. Uh, but yeah, the heaviest motherboard ever. Okay, we've got two of the G-Skill RGB, the Trident Z RGB memory. So that's a 32 gig kit. I think four 32 gig modules. And this would be another four 32 gig modules. Take a look at those in a minute. We're pretty familiar with those on the channel. We've looked at multiple kits. Uh, okay, so we're getting, it looks like everything. All right, I'll turn this, I'll turn this up. Okay, a couple of empty padding boxes. Oh, that's a heavy power supply. <sighs> okay, so we have the Thermaltek Tough Power I-Series RGB 1250 watt power supply. Very cool power supply, but let's be honest, that's not what you, why you guys are here. Uh, we also have the Flow Ring 360 Thermaltek Premium Liquid Cooler. So that's an all-in-one liquid cooler, 360 millimeter rad, three 120 millimeter ring fans. Again, very cool, but not why you're here. Uh, the G-Skill Memory, we've seen lots of times. We'll take a look at them later. The motherboard. Um, I think that's probably worth checking out, and I want to know if there is a lead brick in here or not. Because... Um, Ooh, that is a sweet looking motherboard. I suppose I should show it to you guys. It's the motherboard that's heavy. Crikey. That is without a doubt the heaviest motherboard I've picked up. And I've picked up some dual socket server boards before, but this is definitely heavier. Very, very heavy board. Wow. Made that look difficult. Okay, a big part of why this board weighs so much is it does have a rather large aluminium sort of heat spreader on the back. It looks like they're 
possibly some thermal pads under there. Um, definitely RGB lighting, of course, so that's lucky you've got that. I have to admit, I don't know a lot about this board, but uh, it looks, dare I say, underwhelming for such a heavy, high-end, extreme motherboard. I think this thing costs an absolute fortune. It doesn't seem to be that well stocked in terms of features. It looks like there is uh, an M.2 slot under this heatsink. Uh, yep, and I think it's cooled by this heatsink. So there's an M.2 port, but there's only one M.2 port on this board. So it's kind of surprising for a Threadripper board. I mean, you can put M.2 drivers via adapters in the PCI Express slots, but yeah, thought we might have had a few more of those on the board. Six SATA ports and a U.2 port. Yeah, it's not extremely heavy on features. It's a very nice looking board, but yeah, a little, dare I say, disappointing when it comes to features. Ah, oh, okay, hang on, it makes sense now. No, you get stickers, so, you know, it is quite feature rich. Okay, yep, I spoke without actually checking everything out, but that's what this unboxing boxes series is all about. I know pretty much nothing about the product going into it, and I was wondering what this dim, you can see there's an extra dim slot here, and it's got a weird little bracket over here that stops you from installing memory, and I was like, I wonder what that's all about. Wonder no more, because this cool little adapter is what will plug into there. So if you pop the memory, pop that in, clips into place, and that gives you a pair of M.2 slots, one on either side of the card and that will support multiple cards. And there's a couple of thermal sensors and things like that built on it, built onto it. So yeah, that's very cool indeed. So the board's starting to look better and better as we dig further into the box. And there is a lot more things in here. So what is, okay, so that's a four-way Arsalai bridge. That's not super exciting. Uh, what do we have? Ow, it bit me. All right, I'll live. Okay, what we have here is, at a guess, a 10 gigabit card. Indeed it is. So there you go, 10 gigabit networking. You can pop that right in there if you wanted to. So now you've got a single gigabit wide solution and a 10 gigabit solution. So that's quite cool. Coaster, I'll actually use that. Couple of SATA cables, they're not worth showing you. SLI bridge galore. Three SLI bridges, Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, so there's a, quite a few cool things actually. It looks like a decent board. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time on the board itself because, again, that's not exactly why you guys are here. Although it is a cool motherboard. So yeah, I'll, I'll throw up some B-roll of the board so you can get a better look at it. Be a very cool board, and I'm looking very forward to testing Threadripper with it. So. Let's clear all this stuff off and get the second box, which hopefully has some CPUs in it. Okay, time for box number two. That's starting to look a bit more like it. Let's get this out. You know you're moving some pretty serious hardware when it comes in a case like this. I don't know what else is in here, but I hope we got some CPUs. I kind of want to open this side on so you guys can see it as I do it. I need another camera mounted from the roof, but you know, budgets and all that. Um, press, press. Yeah, I won't open this on its side, that would go badly. Awesome. Actually, I might. I might be able to. Let's let's try this again. I haven't seen what's inside here. Honest. Here you go. You ready? Here we go. Whoa. Funny looking TV things. All right. Let's get into this. Wow, that's super cool. Is that? Oh, 
that is a CPU in there and that nearly went horrible. Horribly bad. Oh, wow. That is cool. Okay, I don't think this is a working CPU. I think this is just for show. But even so, I'm glad I didn't drop it because that is awesome. Wow. <laughs> that is cool. You guys won't be able to see it, but it says hardware unboxed on, on it with our little logo. Okay, so I dare say I wasn't meant to take this whole thing apart. Hopefully I haven't broken it. Oh no, it's just magnetic. It's all fine. First they give me the Ryzen jacket, then this. They really don't want me to uh, give a poor review. Hopefully I don't have to. <laughs> but, um, that is... That is one of the cooler things I've received. That's for sure. Getting my finger marks all over it. But um, yeah, I'll get some B-roll. I could stare at that all day. That's cool. Now, that can go up there for now. That's probably where that's going to sit for a very long time up there on top of the computer. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't actually realize until just then I don't know how well it came out on camera. I might have to try and get some B-roll out again. There's actually lights in there, so there's a switch there. So when you open the case up, they're going above and beyond for this Threadripper launch. <laughs> wow, so there's, yeah, there's lights behind the packages, or behind the CPU boxes. All right. So that's a pretty cool Pelican box right there. That in itself would be uh, rather expensive, but anyway, very cool. Now, this is what you've come for. These very bizarre looking packages that are made out of some sort of foam and have cardboard or paper wrapped around them. Um, I mean, yeah, as far as CPU packaging goes, they're, they're pretty badass. Um, I mean, that's the box one of my Xeon processors came in that I bought. And that's the Ryzen 7 box, so, yeah. And then we have these beauties. I'm not going to be throwing these around. So this is my 1920X and my 1950X. So, the next question is, how do we, how do we actually open these? Uh, rip here. Ooh, I don't really want to rip here, but it says rip here, so let's give that a go. Well, that didn't really... Oh, there's a... No. I'm butchering it. I'm butchering it. It's butchered. And it's sticking to me. Okay, well... Maybe we won't destroy the next one as much. So there you go, that is now ready to be opened. Unlock the power. Let's unlock the power, shall we? You ready? Unlocking the power. All the lights are still on. Uh, okay. Off that goes. <laughs> All right, we're out of the phone box. Uh, we've got our little tool here, I believe that is for securing the socket, the TR4 socket. Uh, and the AM4 adapter to T okay. Interesting. Alright, so there's the foam. Ah, there's the CPU. So it did fall out, it was still protected though. Well, that's kind of cool. I guess you could sit that on the shelf somewhere. Why are my shelves so messy? I've got no room to put anything. All right. This is very heavy, this part. So we have a little metal clip here. Surely you pull that out. Yep. Metal clip down and there's a little orange tab here. Does that pull? 
Okay, you push the orange tab down and that pops off. And then you are met with an absolutely massive CPU. Except my one has a bit of a nick taken out of the surface and it's quite rough, so I'm gonna have to try and smooth that down. It's not very smooth. Come on AMD, quality control. I have a lump on top of my CPU, so. Anyway, but there, the 1920X thread, Ryzen Threadripper, and that is just a truly massive CPU. I'm so tempted to see if that CPU there works, but I'm sure that's a dead CPU that they've printed on. I don't really want to put anything on the surface of it. Maybe I'll just mount it in the socket and see if it posts. Um, yeah, hope that doesn't kill the board. But yeah, these are seriously heavy CPUs. Probably should give you a look at it. Hopefully I've had B-roll so you're not just sitting there watching me blab on like I do. But um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. That is a massive CPU. It looks cool in the back. I'm, after all the videos we've done hyping it and AMD's been slowly giving us information and that it's kind of weird to be finally holding it. CPU in hand, guys. See, I told you it happened. <laughs> I've got to benchmark the hell out of it. The uh, PCB on this thing is insanely thick. It'd have to be, there's a lot of surface area. But yeah, very thick. All right, I'm gonna put this over there. Hopefully that stays safe. And then in here you get the little installation instruction manual, which probably no one anywhere has ever read, but it's there if you need it. Cool little Ryzen sticker there, Ryzen Threadripper, and then a really big Ryzen Threadripper sticker there. So stickers for days in this unboxing. And then a cool little pouch to keep it all in. Alright, so that's box number one down. I'm going to try and not destroy this one. Alright, that went a lot better. I don't really know why I want to keep that, but... If I need to get any footage of that, it's now not completely destroyed. Okay, so again, unlock the power for the second time. Are you ready? Power unlocked. Now, I'm gonna stop that from falling out this time. There you go, I did it. So again, same deal here. Just a funny thing. And here we go, much the same as the previous CPU, though this one will have all 16 cores enabled and 32 threads, whereas this one was the 12 core model. So yeah, two Ryzen Threadripper CPUs, one rather large motherboard with a huge desktop socket. Well, it's actually a server socket on a desktop board, but big socket for a desktop board. And yeah, opened two big boxes. The studio is now a horrific mess and I've got stuff everywhere. So that pretty much does it for this episode of Unboxing Boxes. Um, definitely one of the shorter episodes, or I think it was. Actually, we did do two boxes that could have gone for a bit. Anyway, uh, my brain's pretty much checked out from the unboxing boxes stuff and is ready to get into the Ryzen Threadripper benchmarking. So, uh, yeah, let's wrap this up so I can go get into some serious benchmarking. Got to set the system up, fresh install the windows, all the benchmark stuff. I'm going to have that done tonight. It's going to be a late night. Got to edit this video first, actually. But anyway, I can't wait to get into it. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you very much, AMD, for this. This is super cool. Um, that's going to go sit there for a long time. So I might see if that CPU works, but I'm pretty sure it won't. Uh, yeah, so thanks for coming and watching Unboxing Boxes Threadripper Edition. We actually have a heap more products that need unboxing, so there'll be another episode next week and definitely one the week after. I have a massive stack of boxes over here to my right. Uh, we need to get through all those. I was planning to do them in this episode, but yeah, when AMD sends you a review kit like that, you've kind of got to give it your full attention. And well, that's what I'm going to go do right now. I'm your host, Steve. See you again next time, guys.